앤드류 용 미국 스탠퍼드 대 교수는 인공지능, AI 분야 4대 석학으로 불립니다. 그의 딥러닝 관련 논문들이 전 세계적으로 25만회나 인용될 정도로 많은 AI 연구자들의 선구자입니다. AI 글로벌 포럼 참석차 한국을 방문한 은 교수를 SBS가 만나 한 시간 동안 인터뷰했습니다. Many Koreans these days know your name because Korean press they describe you as like a godfather of AI. I don't think I'm that important, but thank you. I think uh, there are tens of thousands of people work on AI, and all of us um, make our little contributions that in turn build on the contributions of many other people. Mm -hmm. 초미의 관심사인 인간 수준의 범용 인공지능, AGI의 출현 시기에 대해 엔비디아의 젠슨 왕은 5년 이내, 일론 머스크는 빠르면 내년이 될 것이라고 예측한 바 있습니다. 하지만 은 교수의 생각은 달랐습니다. I think one of the reasons different people have different opinions about when AGI will come is because um, different people have different definitions for AGI. The one that I'm most used to is AGI is uh, AI that could do any intellectual task a human can. I think we're many decades away from that. I hope we'll get there in our lifetimes, but I think that's still very far away. 은 교수의 정의에 따르면 박사 논문을 쓸수 있을 정도의 인간의 지적 능력을 모두 수행할 수 있어야 진정한 AGI라고 할수 있는데 아직 갈 길이 멀다는 겁니다. I think that biological intelligence like humans and artificial intelligence like neural networks are so different is very difficult to make comparisons between them. Um, AI works amazingly well. Um, but it's just so different than the way the human brain works. It's very difficult to say exactly what are the similarities and differences. But um, even though today, I think, frankly, we have a very limited understanding of how the human brain works. We really don't understand the human brain. But that's why a lot of AI teams are more focused on the engineering of intelligence rather than the biology of intelligence. 은 교수는 스스로 AI 낙관론자라고 밝혔습니다. AI 자체를 규제하기보단 AI가 탑재될 프로그램의 안정성에 초점을 맞춰야 한다고 강조합니다. A lot of governments around the world um, are thinking about how to promote innovation and also make sure that AI is safe. And I think it's important for governments to distinguish between technology, which is sort of the math um, or the AI ideas, and the applications, which is the medical device or the self-driving car or the underwriting software. And if you try to make the technology itself guarantee to be safe for any application, then the only way to do that is to dramatically slow down technology development, which doesn't actually benefit society. AI가 인류의 파멸을 초래할지도 모른다는 디스토피아적 시각에 대한 은 교수의 답변은 이랬습니다. AI safety is important, but I think it has also been overhyped. Um, while we want AI to be safe, um, what we've seen is that even though AI makes mistakes, it is for the most part quite safe. And the way that most technologies become safe is we release it in a controlled way um, and then experiment with it, see what mistakes it makes and then fix the mistakes. And I feel like the large language model space is just going through that work right now. Um, I don't think we'll ever perfectly control a large language model, but that's fine. We can control them well enough. Maybe to make an analogy, we also can't control aircraft perfectly. If we fly in an aircraft, winds will blow the airplane around. And in the early days of aviation, some airplanes crash, and that was really tragic and people died. But um, we learned lessons to control airplanes better and better to make them safer and safer. So that today, even though we still can't perfectly control them, most of us can step in an airplane without really fearing for our lives. And I think for large language models as well, um, every month we're learning to control them better. And uh, that technology, by many companies at this point, and academia as well, is advancing rapidly. AI 발전으로 일자리가 사라지지 않을까라는 우려에 대해서도 다른 관점을 제시했습니다. I think AI won't replace, say, people doing various jobs, but instead people that use AI may replace people that don't. And for many jobs, maybe 20, 30 percent of the job can be automated or maybe augmented with AI. And if, say, 30 percent of the job is automated, there's still that 70 percent of the work that, you know, we need people to do. But the challenge is, um, if anyone that uses generative AI will be much more productive, how can we upskill society as a whole, really all knowledge workers, to quickly learn to use this technology effectively? I think that is a big challenge that lies ahead of us.
그렇다면 은 교수가 생각하는 AI의 확산을 막는 가장 큰 장애물은 뭘까요? What do you think is the biggest barrier to AI becoming a general purpose technology? I think AI is a general purpose technology, but the biggest barrier to its um, more widespread adoption is I think it's going to take a lot of work to identify the concrete applications and then to build to it. Um, about 15 years ago, uh, 10, 15 years ago, uh, deep learning, a different type of AI technology than generative AI, started to work really well. And over the last 10 years, so many people have been identifying and building applications of deep learning. But 10 years later, we're still not yet done finding all those applications. Generative AI is much newer, um, but I think that it will also take years for people to figure out how should we apply this in healthcare and logistics and education and financial services and on and on and on. 오픈 AI CEO 샘 올트먼은 최근 한 인터뷰에서 북한 전투기 수백 대가 서울 상공으로 출격할 경우 방공 시스템을 AI에 맡겨도 되느냐는 질문을 받았습니다. 은 교수에게도 똑같이 물었습니다. I'm not an expert in defense scenarios. It's probably a good thing if well-run democratic nations have access to AI tools to use it to protect ourselves because certainly adversaries do have access to AI tools. I think this is a very difficult decision um, how to balance the need to protect lives, which is paramount, um, uh, and, and, and to safeguard human rights while at the same time giving democratic nations the tools they need to protect themselves. 은 교수는 초창기 인터넷 발명 이후 누구나 온라인 서비스를 개발했던 것처럼 AI의 발전을 위해선 자유로운 오픈 소스 형태의 개발 환경 구축이 중요하다고 말합니다. 하지만 AI 기술을 독점하려는 일부 대기업들의 우려되는 시도도 목격했다고 밝혔습니다. So there are large companies that have made large investments in training foundation models for whom it's really inconvenient to have the computer open source because if you spend hundreds of millions of dollars but someone open sources a similar model, then the value of that investment is, is significantly degraded. Um, I have been seeing lobbyists really intensely um, hyping up fears and dangers of AI in order to try to get um, governments to pass safety laws. Over the last year, I think a lot of the um, strange risks, like relating AI to nuclear weapons, mm -hmm. which is an analogy that makes no sense. AI makes things more intelligent, nuclear weapons blow up cities, so I just don't see any relationship. AI는 빅테크 기업뿐 아니라 스타트업들에게도 기회의 장을 열어줄 것으로 은 교수는 전망했습니다. With most ways of technological disruption, there's room for the incumbents, maybe big tech companies, to thrive, but there's also lots of room for new startups to thrive. And sometimes the marketplace is competitive, and there will some companies will do better than others. Um, take the internet revolution. With the rise of the internet, some startups, um, such as uh, Google and Amazon, did really well, but there are some incumbent companies like Microsoft and Apple, those were pre-internet companies, those did really well as well. So with the rise of AI, I think there'll be incumbent companies, some of the large cloud companies, large tech companies, that I think many of them will do very well. But there are also lots of opportunities for startups to build many things that I don't think the big tech companies will. Um, not every company will do well, but there are so many opportunities. 은 교수는 AI 연구의 최신 트렌드로 AI 에이전틱 워크플로우를 소개하고 있습니다. 에이전틱 워크플로우란 인공지능의 추론 단계를 분할해 AI 모델이 스스로 산출값을 비판적으로 점검하고 결과를 도출하도록 해 효율성을 높이는 새로운 연구 방식입니다. Many people use large language models like ChatGPT or Gemini um, by prompting it or typing a command to have it write an essay. And that's a bit like telling an AI Please write an essay for me by typing from the first word to the last word in one go without ever using backspace. And people can't write well like that. Uh, but despite the difficulty of this task, I think AI does it quite well. In contrast with agentic workflows, we don't require the AI to just write from start to finish. Instead, we let it take multiple steps. Like we may ask it to first write an outline for the essay and then do some web research, then write the first draft then critique his first draft, then revise the draft. And with this type of agentic workflow, we let the AI write a draft, think about it, revise the draft, think about it, and iterate many more times. And this results in a much better work product. And I think this is a, is a very important technology trend that is letting AI do much more than was possible before.
이와 관련해 응 교수가 눈여겨보고 있는 기업 혹은 연구기관이 있는지 물었습니다. There's a lot of different research groups uh, as well as a few companies using agentic workflows. So some names, um, I was really impressed by the work of um, a research paper called Chat Dev. Uh, Chat, Chat, Chat Dev, Dev. C H A T D E V. D A V. I think Meta GPT did good work. Meta GPT. Um, Devon was a was a demo that went viral on social media. Um, I think Alpha Codium did really nice work. 현재 AI 알고리즘의 대세이자 최 GPT의 기반이 되는 트랜스포머 신경망 방식을 뛰어넘은 차세대 알고리즘이 나올 것인가? There's so many people doing exciting work in AI. It's a bit hard to predict where the next breakthrough will come from. Um, I don't think the transformer neural network will be the final architecture. In fact, the exciting developments on things called state space models uh, and algorithms like Mamba. So maybe we'll come up with something even better than the transformer, but I'm not sure. Um, but the transformer network is very good. So even if there isn't a new invention compared to the transformer, I think variations on the transformer will still, will still carry us much further than it has so far. 윤 교수는 한국이 AI 기술 발전을 위한 훌륭한 생태계를 갖고 있다면서 한국 기업 정부와 협력할 기회가 있기를 바란다고 밝혔습니다. So I'm excited to be in Korea specifically is because Korea has such a strong software ecosystem, such a strong software industry with both established companies like Naver and Kakao as well as many startups. So I think Korea specifically is very well positioned to embrace AI and take advantage of this emerging technology. SBS 홍현재입니다.